Okay gang, 10.4, these are all literal equations. So remember, that means that you just want to isolate whatever they ask for. So you're sort of um, reformatting the formula. Okay, so for the first one, you wanna isolate D. So either you can use the LCD to get them to have the same denominator and then cross out the denominator, or you can just cross multiply here for starters. Uh, if you're really comfortable with fractions, you know you could just flip these. So I'm bringing the D up. I'm going to divide the E down. All right, now I need to get the D by itself, so I have to take the square root. And when you take a square root, you put the plus or minus. Now I tried to stress to you guys that you don't want to leave a fraction under a radical, so that you would break this like this. The square root of one is just gonna come out as a one, but uh, you can't then leave, you can't then leave a radical in the denominator. So you gotta give it a twin. That's a square root, so you give it a twin. So two under, one comes out, and one times radical e is radical e. So again, this is e squared underneath. If you want me to write a little step somewhere, I can. Underneath it becomes e squared when you do e times e but then the square root and the square undo each other and then the E comes out. So you have that. Okay, let's try this one. Now here we want to isolate A. So we want to get rid of the radical. So to get rid of the radical, we're going to square both sides. Now, um, I want to get this by itself. So you can do this in one step and multiply by uh, pi over 4 to both sides, but I'll, I'll do it in two steps in case this is confusing. All right, so I'm going to multiply the pi up to the other side. And then I'm going to divide off the 4. Uh, let me just rewrite that. Sorry, I know the lighting's on the wrong side here, but I can't move it. Okay, so you're going to get that. Uh, I think there's one more from here that you guys wanted. Yeah, this one. Okay. We're going to isolate G. So the first thing you want to do is isolate the radical. I mean, you could technically work with it as it is, but let's move... Let's divide off the 2 pi. This is um, set as t sub p. Okay, so now let's get the rid of the radical. So you're going to square both sides. Two squared is four. Pi squared is pi squared. I know that looks, this one looks really weird. Okay, now you've got to bring the G up to the other side. And now you want to get the, um, Wow, this one you could have maybe, yeah, maybe I should have just squared everything because everything was over on the right. So, okay, well, it is what it is. So now let's get the G by itself. So you're going to multiply, we're almost done. You're going to multiply this up. And we almost got the G, we just got to divide off this T sub P quantity squared. All right, so that's going to give us g equals to 4 pi squared L over t sub p quantity squared. 
All right, gang, that's it on this one. Um, again, if, if you want to, uh, you can square everything here. You're not breaking a rule. It's just when there, there's addition or subtraction in the middle, that's, that's a different scenario. But uh, if you want to square everything first, make that four squared pi squared equals to L over G, that's fine. That'll work out correctly. All right, gang, that's it on 10-4. Um, Catch you.